So we are on the last day of training with Nick, and from day one to right now, I have seen the most drastic change I've ever seen in my entire life with dogs, because I've had trainers before, and every single trainer did not work. Everyone tried to use food, and my dogs would be really happy about the food, and then when they didn't want it anymore, they wouldn't listen anymore. Or they just wouldn't listen, period, and I wouldn't know what to do because they would just start barking, quiet, they wouldn't be quiet, please quiet, uh, please, uh, anything, and it's just, you're just standing there going, I, I give up, I, I don't know what to do, and I was at a loss, like I was sick of it, I was tired of it, my dog would non-stop barking, non-stop running, would not listen to anything I said. If someone came to the door, they were barking. I couldn't let the person into the door because they would be just barking and, and all, up, all over me. If I walk in to the from coming somewhere, they would be all over me, jumping on top of me. Uh, now, it's just feel like I have control again of, I guess, my life when I'm at home because if I tell them to sit, they sit. If I tell them to place, they place. If, um, if I'm eating, and they want the food, I can literally just go place down and I'll eat and they'll just lay there. And I, I, I am dumbfounded because I never thought in a million years, I was like, you know what, Nick? You want dogs that don't listen, that don't do anything? Come on, come to my place. I challenge you. I dare you to come to my place and take on Mocha and Pumpkin. I guarantee they will tag team you and spit you out. They will chew you up and spit you out of this house. Now on the last day, Nick has chewed up Mocha and Pumpkin together and now they listen, they do everything I say and I feel confident enough that when Nick leaves that I can keep the training going to where I am happy. I mean, I did Runyon today. Like whenever we do Runyon Canyon, we hike up Runyon, I would have to carry a 60 pound dog down the canyon because she would refuse to walk down anymore. Now, we did it today, no problem. Mocha, come, come. Boom, she comes. It's, it, was, it was insane to do that because I wasn't carrying a 60 pound dog down a canyon uh, because she was too lazy to do it. And now knowing that she isn't lazy enough and she is good to go, uh, I'm pretty happy with, with everything. I couldn't be more happy. I mean, everything has worked off leash training it is the best thing that's happened to my dogs and it's given me sanity and confidence to know that I can literally have the trainer leave and have full confidence in everything. So, Nick White, thank you very much from the most must-see WWE superstar of all time, the A-list movie star, yes, The Miz, thanks you, Nick White. You are awesome, even though I am the only one with the money maker. It's okay. All right. <laughs> So, you don't believe me that my dogs were really, really bad? Rafal, how bad were my dogs? Really bad. Like, how bad? Really, really bad. Did you hate them? Every time you came over, what would happen? Marty all the time. Yeah. Marty all over the place. Yeah, now how are they? How are they? Amazing. Yeah. See? Don't take it from me. Take it from my contractor who's building my extension, who literally has to come over here every day and have my dogs barking at him and biting at his legs. She would literally bite his ankles all the time. They call them ankle biters? She is. <laughs> and so now he was just like, he came over today and he went, what's going on? Is, is there something wrong? Like he always would come over like, now, comes over, no problem. It's amazing. 